Taylor Swift was in You Season 4? Hey guys, today we're going to take a look if Taylor Swift was in You Season 4. Let's get right into it. Since the release of Season 4, people have been avidly consuming the content of You, and fans have been especially attentive as the show takes on a new genre of whodunit. However, in the midst of all the excitement, did you happen to notice the Taylor Swift references that were included? It's worth noting that Taylor Swift has a history with you, and her music has made an appearance on the show before. In fact, one of her moving and theatrical tracks, Exile, was used in the emotional finale of season 3 as fans bid farewell to Love Queen. But the Taylor Swift references don't stop there. Throughout season 4, eagle-eyed fans have spotted various nods to the pop star's work, including references to her albums and songs. It's clear that the show's creators are not only fans of Swift's music, but also appreciate the lyrical depth and emotional intensity that her music brings. With Yu's continued popularity and Taylor Swift's enduring impact on the music industry, it's no surprise that the two have crossed paths once again. In the second half of season 4, the Queen of Pop made not one but two appearances, leading many to speculate that Penn Badgley's recent TikTok debut with a Taylor Swift song was more than just a coincidence. The first nod to Taylor Swift in the season is a fairly obvious one, as her hit song Antihero plays during the final moments of the series. The lyrics of the song perfectly encapsulate the complex and contradictory persona of the show's protagonist, Joe Goldberg, a man who is both a good guy and a bad guy. This is especially fitting given that season 4 is the darkest season yet, and Joe's actions become increasingly disturbing as the season progresses. The line, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me, seems to sum up Joe's character perfectly. Interestingly, this is not the first time that Penn Badgley has been associated with Taylor Swift's music. In fact, he made his TikTok debut back in October with a video of himself lip-syncing to one of her tracks. This suggests that the inclusion of Antihero in the show was not just a random choice, but a deliberate nod to Badgley's previous social media activity. In Season 4 Part 2 of You, the show's creators included a subtle but clever reference to Taylor Swift that only the most observant fans were able to pick up on. In a key scene, Joe's infamous glass cage makes a return and viewers were quick to notice that the six-digit code used to open it corresponds to Taylor Swift's birthday. The code, which is 121389, represents the US date format for December 13, 1989, the day on which the pop star was born. This clever easter egg is a testament to the attention to detail that the show's creators put into every aspect of the production. As Taylor Swift herself has said, the devil's in the details, and this is certainly true of You, which is known for its intricate plot twists and hidden references. Lead actor Penn Badgley has even commented on this subtle nod to the pop star, telling Variety that the code to the cage is Taylor Swift's birthday. This is just one example of the many easter eggs and references that the show's creators have peppered throughout the series, keeping fans engaged and guessing at every turn. In a recent interview with a publication, lead actor Penn Badgley shared his thoughts on Joe Goldberg's potential appreciation or lack thereof for Taylor Swift, despite the multiple references to the pop star in the show. Badgley revealed that he doesn't think Joe would be a fan of Swift, stating, I think, unfortunately, he would despise her, because she's successful and blonde, maybe. I don't know, but I think he would. This insight into Joe's character speaks to his complex and often contradictory nature. While he may be a charismatic and charming individual on the surface, he is also deeply flawed and has a tendency to harbor resentment towards those who he perceives as having more success or happiness than him. It's no secret that the creators of You have a fondness for Taylor Swift, as evidenced by the numerous easter eggs and references to the pop star throughout the series. And while there has been no official announcement of Swift appearing on the show, fans have speculated that it could be a possibility in the future. With the immense popularity of both You and Taylor Swift, it's not hard to see why fans are eager for a potential collaboration between the two. The show has become known for its surprising plot twists and unexpected guest appearances, and the addition of a superstar like Swift would only add to the excitement and intrigue. Of course, there are many factors to consider when it comes to casting decisions, and it remains to be seen whether Swift would be interested in appearing on the show. However, given her recent foray into acting with roles in films like Cats, it's clear that she is open to expanding her creative horizons. Whether or not we see Taylor Swift on you in the future, one thing is certain. The show's creators have a deep appreciation for her music and art history, and they have done an excellent job of weaving her influence into the fabric of the show. As the series continues to captivate audiences around the world, fans can look forward to more surprises and easter eggs, and who knows, maybe one day we'll see Taylor Swift make an appearance on the show herself.
That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.